Hey guys, it's Chris Martin with the Crane Minute. Crane Rental Minute, pardon me. You can find us at cranerentalblog.net. That's where we're amassing all this stuff, right? All these videos and blogs and content. Um, you can also listen to us on iTunes at the Crane Rental Podcast, cranerentalpodcast.com. Obviously, if you're watching us, you're probably watching us on YouTube. So hit the subscribe button where you'll get emailed all of our local videos when they come out. We put out massive content uh, on the crane side and some content in uh, the motivational side. So maybe you can get some uh, advantages on both, right? So my name is Chris Martin, uh, five years in the crane rental industry. Coming at you today with our Crane Rental Minute. I dubbed it the Crane Rental Minute, but it's more like the Crane Rental Minutes, right? Little parentheses with the S in the middle, right? Because um, we're gonna, I'm not gonna limit myself to a minute to describe these things. Uh, sometimes it take a minute, sometimes it take a little bit longer, but it shouldn't be longer than five, six minutes uh, for these t uh, quick topics. Okay, quick topic today is a jib, right? This, of course, is a Grove model in the episode you just, uh, the episode before this, we put out in the comments, can you name this crane? I'm not gonna tell you what crane this is, leave it in the comments, I wanna see if you guys remember what kind of crane this is. Recap, six axles, truck chassis, Grove, obviously, circles in the boom, I think that's all you should know, uh, need to know to tell me what kind of crane this is, the model, uh, the make and model, I don't need to know the year, but uh, make and model, see if you guys can guess that. Let me, uh, you know, scope some boom in, right, on my little model here. Pay out some cable. So, uh, let me actually boom down. I don't know, I, I think maybe we're boomed up and where we need to be. <clears throat> See if I can boom down. No, I can't. I haven't worked with this model or played with this model in a long time, so I don't remember how we boom down. I think you just apply pressure, but I, there could be a pin in here, so I'll just kind of get him down here. This is our, <laughs> there's no real cool way to do this. This is our fixed jib, right? This jib is fixed and is uh, pinned at this boom tip section, right? And can be stowed alongside the boom. Or in some cases, if you're doing a pick where you need uh, all your chart, you could take this jib, this stowable jib, right, as you call it, and put it on a trailer and uh, not have to worry about this deduction on your boom charts. Boom charts. We're gonna talk about deductions in a later episode, but that's just a nugget, a little foreshadowing coming up for you. This is a fixed jib, fixed stowable jib, right? There's a lot of terms for jibs here. Why it's a fixed jib versus a um, um, a hydraulic, hydraulically offset jib or an offset jib is it's fixed at this angle, right? I'm not going to be able to, in this configuration with this jib, offset the jib, right? Many cranes like the Link Belt, ATC 325, ATC 3210, which is a new model. Most of your newer cranes are Grove GMK 7550. You can offset this jib hydraulically. So when you're going over a building and you need to be very close to the building, your radius is limited to this fixed jib angle, right? But when I offset it, I can increase my, my you know, radius here with that fixed, uh, with that offset jib. And the hydraulically offset jib is pretty cool because you can do that in the air. It has some cylinders in here. If it's a Terex, you know, AC250-1, there's a little pony motor up here that actually moves it down. So there's pretty cool ways that uh, these crane uh, manufacturers are making it so you can now hydraulically luff this jib or offset this jib, right? This fixed jib is um, a shorter of the jibs. Um, I'm not sure, this is just a model. But I'm sure this crane came with more inserts that you could stack more jib. Um, that's probably the only downside is in this configuration here, you can't offset this. And why you'd want to offset a jib is like I said, if you're up against a building, right? This is your building. I got my Amarillo Big Tex Free Steak cup here, right? This is my building here and I need to get over here. I, I'm, I can scope out, right? I can scope out. I'm gonna have to pay out more line if I keep scoping here. I don't want to two block my crane here. I can keep scoping and increase my radius, 
And if I need to be over here, I would need to probably left the jib over, right? So the lefting the jib over, now we are lowering and scoping in. Lefting the jib over will increase your radius effect, your effective radius, right? And luffing up decreases your radius. So there's different projects in different situations. I can't name every project and situation that would call for a jib and offset jib. This is just general stuff. If you're next to a building and you need to get an HVAC unit over there, you may need to put your jib in and hydro, hydro, uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna say, I can't say it. Offset your jib, right? And they have manual offset jibs too, where you put the jib in at that manual offset. And that's typically like your HTC 8675s in your link belts, I believe. Uh, comment below if I'm wrong there, but I believe those um, are just offset manually, right? They don't hydro, uh, I can't say that word now. They don't, um, they aren't able to offset in the air, right? You see, I had to rephrase that. Um, hydraulically, there we go. They don't hydraulically offset. Uh, you have to actually put the offset in the jib before you swing it and, and attach it to the boom section. So that's a different way to do it. Jibs are pretty cool. Um, luffing jibs can get intense. If you know you have these crawler cranes, you have massive luffing jibs. Uh, if you have the 550, the GMK 7550, or uh, LeBear Le cranes, you know, they have massive luffing jibs. And it's pretty crazy how, how much boom you're actually stacking in this jib. And then they have small fixed jibs, right? You have small um, offset jibs. So if you need to be a few feet off of a vessel you're picking, right? You might put an offset vessel jib on there just to offset uh, your, your load. Uh, line just a little bit to get out of the boom head section So your vessel's not way up here or away in here you can just offset it just a few feet So jibs uh, have many different purposes and are pretty cool um, That is basically jib 101 if you have any more questions on jibs uh, leave them in the comments and we can go deeper into it Typically, they're in a lattice fashion here, right? Uh, some of them actually are solid and those are gonna be found typically on your boom trucks in some Terex cranes, right, you're gonna have uh, a solid boom, which is a jib, but in most cases these jibs uh, are of lattice material, so air can pass through, make them lighter, right? But in some cases, if you have a boom truck or I think a Terex crane, some of these jibs are actual solid metal, uh, which is interesting. That's a little fun fact for you that you can uh, share with people. But this has been Crane 101, and this has been the Crane Rental Minutes with Chris Martin here. You can find us at cranerentalblog.net, uh, or of course, iTunes, Stitcher, Tuned In, or of course, if you're watching us, you already know, on YouTube. Hit subscribe, thank, it, thank you, share it with your friends, and we'll see you uh, next time for our next Crane Rental Minute. All right, bye guys.